Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at scaling a sprite. You can use it to scale any sort of item but we'll be scaling the sprite. We'll be looking at the scale by method which allows you to scale an item based on its current size. So if it's 100 by 100 pixels and you scale it 2 in the X and the Y it will be 200 uh, by 200 and if you scale it again be 400 by 400 and so forth and so forth so it's relative to what it is at that time and not its original size but unlike the scale 2 which we'll be covering in the next tutorial let's get into the code in this tutorial we'll be using the code from tutorial 3 there'll be a link in the description to that source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code that we produced in this tutorial so you want to go to the myapp.js below where we've added the sprite you want to create an action, we're going to call it var sprite underscore action equals cc dot scale by dot create open bracket, first we give it the parameter to tell how long we want the duration of the animation to last for two seconds we're going to make it scale to in the x, to in the y close bracket, semicolon sort out the formatting what we're going to do is now run this action this dot my sprite dot run action open bracket sprite action close bracket semicolon oopsie daisy and now just run it in the simulator Here we go. Yep, it was started in the center of the screen and now the actual size of it has increased to twice the height and twice the width. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna create one more action and it's gonna be called var repeat underscore action equals cc dot repeat dot create open bracket we give it the action that we want it to repeat of so sprite action and we say how many times so I'm going to put three semicolon sort out the formatting and instead of running the sprite action we run the repeat action we click run in the simulator let it scale there you go as you can see it's scaled technically it's scaled uh, three times because it scaled the first time so imagine if the width was it, it, the width is 100% by 100% so it scaled it twice so in X and Y so it's 200% by 200% then it scaled it again so it's 400% by 400% then finally scaled it again so it's 800% uh, by 800% so technically it scaled it eight uh, times in the X and eight times in the Y so if we were to do six and click play this will be so big it's going to be off the screen this is going to get ridiculously huge and this is going to be over a period of 12 seconds there you go as you can see basically it scales it relative like so before to what its current size is in the next tutorial we'll be looking at the scale 2 method which scales it relative to its original size. So if we if I were to put six here for the scale two, it would not make a blind bit of difference. It will only scale it up to um, two to by two. It doesn't matter how many times it's trying to scale it again and again. It scales it up to certain amount by compared to its original size. But that's for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.